So we are in the space dedicated to Farid El Ashai, your mom. Yes. Who was an artist, an Iranian artist. Um, she passed away nine years ago, and I always believe that um, art can be very prophetic. Like um, there, there can be a lot of prophecy in it, and because artists have antennas that they they get history, they get the zeitgeist, and they see the future in a way. And um, so this is so what I, what do Rabbit in Wonderland, which yes. is based on Alice in Wonderland, and the first scene is the two rabbits meeting and populating. Let's speak about the subject, the, the main subject of the work in the general. The main subject of the work is that the rabbit is a protagonist as an alter ego of the artist herself and as the Iranian people, uh, either one. And it goes from birth in, a, in the age of innocence and in a pristine land that you're not aware of death, you're not aware of politics, you are not aware of militarization of But uh, why anything. is it prophetic? We'll get there. And um, then the rabbit encounters Mossadegh, uh, who was the Iranian prime minister who nationalized the oil industry, and he became quite an important figure in, um, in creating national identity uh, in the region. And um, all the monologues are taken from Alice in Wonderland, but they have been adjusted so that like his court uh, readings are mixed with it because they, he had a very important court meet, uh, reading, um, procedure that they wanted to limit it to 24 hours. But of course, what happens before and what happens after is very important. But the rabbit has a conversation with this grand... Um, um, persona of history asked and in, in a um, state of bewilderment asking whether to go to the south or to the north to, towards the Soviet Union or the United States. And then there are ravens coming sitting at a spread uh, and the rabbit wants to have a little bit of the, um, the food of the spread that they have and they do not let it. And the last painting, which in the original exhibition was one of the middle ones, but here it really is the last painting, is the map of Iran, which is in the shape of a cat, and its face is the Cheshire cat. Mm -hmm. But in a very whimsical way, and all the rabbits are trying to get into the land that they came on until a very small one, like a Gen Z, jumps in, and everybody else, every other rabbit can jump in. So what does it mean? Out. They have their ears pricked up. No, but what does he? What? what it means the, that the solution to getting into Iran, getting you know, um, having a piece of Iran, of Iran as a people, is with the very younger generation, which is happening now. So that is prophetic. Yes. It, that things will, the good things will happen in Iran with the young people. Um, I mean, the younger generation, they want life, yes. And they want a freer life, and I think they're achieving that. Merci. Uh -huh. Merci, Merci beaucoup.